So what's up guys, MD Gaming 3315 here back with another video. Today we are doing the AFC North Pittsburgh Steelers season predictions. Third team of four in the AFC North this season. Um through the if you wonder why I'll be skipping I'll be skipping week eight because I already picked that game with a different team. Uh, I'll be skipping week 17, same thing, 18, and week 13. So right now, from my previous two uh, predictions, the Steelers are sitting at two wins, two losses on the year, third place. We'll see how they sit after this uh, thing. Week one, let's get straight into it. Week one, Pittsburgh Steelers play the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. This is a Sunday afternoon game. It's in Buffalo, New York. Uh, the Steelers, they lost badly last year to this Buffalo team. Uh, I think this Buffalo team like, compares a lot to the Browns. Uh, they're a very talented team. Um, I think the top three teams in the AFC North are the Browns, AFC North, the AFC is the Browns, Bills, and the Sheets. Um, week one, I have Buffalo winning that game at, at home. I don't, I can't see Josh Allen in at the way that team looks losing that game. Uh, a lot of people say the Bros are going to win that game. I think they are. I think they have a very good chance of winning that football game in week one. Week two, Pittsburgh plays at home in Heinz Field versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, the Raiders, going into that game, I would have had them. How many? I would have had them losing to the Browns and losing to Baltimore. So they've already lost to two. Um, not saying two AFC North teams. We enter week two. Can the Raiders get it done? I'm sorry, Raiders fans. That if if there's Raiders fans that watch my videos, I'm sorry. I just don't have a lot of faith in your team. I I don't that often. I ain't saying they're bad. They can easily make playoffs. But I don't see how they can beat the Steelers. Um, their offensive line isn't too good at all. Um, they have possibly... I don't know. I'll see the night how they look. That, I'll, just, I'll just say that. I'll see how they look tonight. Week 3... Cincinnati at Pittsburgh. So Burrow versus uh, Big Ben. Now, reason I'm spending more time on this is due to the fact the Bengals beat the Steelers at home in Cincinnati um, last year. But Pittsburgh blew them out at home. Uh... They haven't done really much in the draft or offseason, the Bengals. Um, I don't know. I have Steelers winning by 14. It could very well possibly be a 17-point win. So far, from just losing to all AFC North teams, the Bengals are 0-5. That's losing two AFC North teams. They have five losses. They could be swept by Steelers this year. One shot. And that'd make them six. That'd give them six losses. That's they could do. It's 11 to 6. Uh, look at this. Uh, the pack. It's interesting. Ugh. Green Bay versus Pittsburgh. In Green Bay. Now, this is a home game. This is a road game, Sunday. Um, 
question is, I don't know if the Steelers can win this game. Rodgers is returning. That whole Packers team is coming back together. Um, I've had the Browns being Green Bay already. Uh, but I've had Baltimore losing to Green Bay. I'm going to say, now I might be a little biased, but I'm not. Uh, <laughs> might sound a little biased, but I'm going to have Green Bay win at home. Uh, I don't know, I don't, can't really see the Steelers winning on the road in Green Bay at much, much at all this season. I don't, I can't see them winning on the road much. Um, I do have them winning on the road versus Baltimore. That's a game they'd have to win in week 18 uh, if they want to, yeah. I don't see them winning many games at, on the road this year though, so. Broncos play, Broncos play, the, the Broncos play the Steelers. I think that's an easy choice. The Steelers are going to win that game handily. Week six, this is a week before the bye week for Pittsburgh. They play Seattle at home. Now, Wilson, he had a few issues earlier this year with the Seahawks. They resolved those issues for Wilson staying in Seattle. I don't think the Steelers are going to win this game. Now, the reason I don't think they're going to win this game. Seahawks have a talented roster. Um, they got Wilson. They got those guys on that team. Uh, I, I, I have the Seahawks winning by seven. Three or seven. Uh, I don't, I think it might. That game very well may be an overtime game. That game very well might be an overtime game. Um, if it is, then the Seahawks, I think, will be able to pull it out. But who knows? Who knows? Week 9, after the bye week, after they fall to the Browns, I they play the Bears at home. Now, this is, once again, a situation. Who's quarterback for the Bears? I can't necessarily say the Bears are going to win these games if I don't know who's going to play that game. They're saying Andy Dalton's going to play, but for how long? Um, if Justin Fields plays, I think Steelers have a shot of losing that game, but... I think they might win that game. Week 10, Detroit at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's going to win that game handedly. Don't have any problem. Um, week 11, Pittsburgh versus the Chargers. Chargers. See, I don't have a problem with the Chargers. I just think they're overrated. I just think they're very overrated. So, right now... I'm going to have them. Week 11. This is a game they'd have to win if they want to start at least second place in the AFC North. Because the Browns right now have a 14-3 record. They have a shot at least second place. They're 7-5. So I think Sears are going to come in that game. Mike Tom's going to say, hey, this is a game we need to win if we want to change at second place. They're going to win that game. Week 12, Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. I think this is going to be a lot closer than uh, week 3. I think week 3 is going to be a blowout. I think week 12 is going to be at least close. But I think still will sweep Cincinnati. They win both games. And they are now 9-5 and five on the year. So they're three wins away from tying for uh, first, second place. Minnesota, Pittsburgh, uh, I'm going to say this, I said this one time, I'm going to say it again. I don't have much faith in the Vikings. Uh, I think that team's really good. Uh, I think the Vikings are decent, but I don't think they're going to beat Pittsburgh. I really don't. I think Pittsburgh's going to win that game pretty easily, and uh, yeah.
Week 15, the Titans play Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. Now, this is tough because you never know who's going to win. Um, Steelers are coming into this game 10-5. and five. Uh, I have them. They are only two wins away from tying for second place. There's three teams in the AFC North at the way I have series right now that are in the playoffs on this. Uh, it's Browns the third seed, Baltimore the sixth, Pittsburgh the seventh. Um, so yeah, that's how it is ranked right now. So, and the Chiefs are the first seed right now. Somehow the Dolphins are second. I don't know. Um... Uh, it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, Derrick Henry is a machine on his own half. Uh, he's an absolute monster. Uh, I think he's going to do damage to Pittsburgh, but depends on what Ryan Tannehill does. Uh, we saw the Browns tear up the Titans last year in that game, and Baker Mayfield had possibly his greatest game with, uh, as a Cleveland Brown of his career. Uh, I have Pitt, uh, just because they're at home, I have Pittsburgh squeaking that one out. I have them going 11-5 now. I have Pittsburgh winning that game. But that game's very possibly a coin toss. Uh, I think both teams can very well lose. But I think Pittsburgh's going to win that game. So... Week 16, this is where, man, if you win that Titans game, if you can make it to 11-5, and five, and if the Ravens are 12-5 and five at that point, uh, and you've got to win to have a shot at second place in the division, you're playing in Kansas City uh, against the Chiefs. That has a suck. Uh... There, I'm sorry. There's no shot the Steelers win that game. Um, that would put Pittsburgh at 11 and six. Best they could finish uh, this year. That year, it's, that's the best they could finish is 11 wins, six losses. Um, so, how it would rank in AFC North, it would go. It would go Cleveland first, Baltimore second, Pittsburgh third. Uh, Cincinnati would be on six, such from losing the fishing games. So why not? We got plenty of time left, hopefully enough. Uh, let's do, how about we do the Cincinnati Bengals schedule in the same video. So the Bengals' first game is a home game against the Minnesota Vikings. Now, now this is interesting. I don't. Hmm. Kirk Cousins versus Joe Barrow. Uh, I think. The Bengals could squeak this one out at home. I'm going to be honest. They can could squeak this out at home. But I don't think they will. I'm going to give that one to Minnesota. I don't... I'm going to barely give it to Minnesota. Uh, I don't think Minnesota can possibly lose that game. Week two, Chicago, Cincinnati. If Justin Fields is playing, Bears win. Andy Dalton's playing, Bears probably win. Uh, that'd be Andy returning uh, to face his own team. But I have the Bears win that game. But that would basically put with the vision sweeps and... Um, Two losses in week one and two. 0 and 8. 0 and 8. Uh, that brings us to week four. They play Jacksonville. I give them their first win this season 
against Jacksonville. Now, they're facing Jacksonville. I know, I know Jacksonville isn't a very good team at all. They're not a very good team. But listen, listen. I don't have faith in Trevor Lawrence. Uh, sure that Saxon 15's rebuild, but do you understand how long it takes to rebuild? I think Cincinnati wins that game. Not by much, but they do. Week 5, Green Bay, Cincinnati. I say Green Bay wins that game by 14, 17 points. Uh, I think this is going to be uh, too much to handle for Cincinnati. I think they're going to win that game. But this should be a bounce back. They should be able to bounce back and beat Detroit in Detroit. Uh, depending on how good Detroit is. That would put them at two wins, nine losses. Uh, that sh should be a bounce back. Then they would lose to Baltimore. And then they would face the Jets in New York. Now, I know the Jets got their quarterback now. Um, but they still got a re lot of rebuild to do. Um, I think Cincinnati squeaks that one out on the road in New York, and I think they win that game to go 3-9 and nine on the season. They are 0-7 versus winning, 3-2 and two versus losing, 2-4 and four on the road, 1-5 and five at home. That's horrible. That would have been horrible. So week 11, coming off a of bye week, they play the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, uh, and I'm now, it's a nice I'll, day, I'll give the Raiders their first win. Um, this is an evening game. It's in Las Vegas. I think Las Vegas wins that game. Uh, is it going to be close? Possibly. Very possibly it's going to be close. But I think. Cincinnati's going to be able to squeak it out uh, somehow, but I think they will be. So, Steelers beat them week 12. Week 13, Sargent's Cincinnati in Cincinnati. This is a second straight home game for the Bengals. They need hope to bounce back at home. They are they have one win at home. That one win came against Jacksonville. If they didn't win that game, they'd be 0-6 at home. Whoa, that would be a bad record. Um, Cincinnati played the Chargers. They have to win this game on the road. Um, Chargers, what are you going to say? They're they're losing. They're a losing team. Um, I say Cincinnati somehow wins this game. Um, they're at home. I know. Chargers look a lot better. They've done a lot of moves. But after last year's fail, failure, sorry, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Chargers win that game on the road. Chargers win on the road. Um, yeah, that put them one and six on the road at home. San Francisco, Cincinnati. San Francisco wins that game handily. No questions, if ands, or buts. Uh, that put them at one and seven. Yeah, that's not a good record, but okay. Um, then they play the Broncos. Now, it's interesting. They're playing the Broncos now. Hmm. <laughs> I know I'm hanging on the brink, brink, brink with Broncos a lot, but this point they're three and thirteen. They have no shot of making the playoffs. Oh, no. How close they were to beating them. How close they were last year to beating them. I think they will get that win. 
Yeah, I'd put them at 4 and 12. After Baltimore, they play Kansas City. That's a blowout win. Kansas City wins easily in Cincinnati. So, the AFC North is done in three videos. This video is a double one Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. So, let's recap the AFC North. Cleveland Browns. I have, I'm losing week one to Kansas City. Then winning against Houston and Chicago. I have them winning against Minnesota and the Chargers. The Browns, I uh, put them at 4-1. and one. I have them being the Cardinals, Denver, and then first main against Pittsburgh. I'd put them then at 7-1. and one. Then I have them being the Bengals and Patriots. That would put them at 9-1. Then I have them easily being Detroit. That put them at 10 and 1. I have them falling short to Baltimore in week 12. Then a bye week. I have them being Baltimore. Then being Las Vegas. Barely being Green Bay. I have Pittsburgh winning the second meeting. And then I have the Browns winning their uh, week 18 matchup versus Cincinnati. Baltimore. Baltimore. I have them beating the. Las Vegas Raiders. I have them losing to the Chiefs in week two. I have them beating the Lions. I have them beating the Broncos. That put them at four, three and one. I have them beating the Colt Oaks, the Chargers, and the Bengals. That put them at six and one. Then I have them beating the Vikings. That put them at seven and one. I have the Dolphins pulling off a massive upset. That put the Dolphins. That put them at uh, seven and two, seven and two. Then I have them being the Bears on the road. Then I have them being the Browns. That put them at nine and two. Then I have them being Pittsburgh. That put them at ten and two. Then I have them losing to the Browns, ten and three. Then I have them losing to Green Bay, ten and four. I have them being Cincinnati and then being the Rams again. And I have them losing to Pittsburgh in their second meeting. And then, yeah. That's how I have it. That's how I have it. So. I think it's a fair schedule. Let's recap the Steelers real quick. Even though it's in this video. I have them losing to Buffalo. I have them being the Raiders and being the Bengals. Losing to Green Bay. Being Denver. Losing to Seattle. I have them losing to Cleveland in the first meeting in week 8. Lose, being Chicago, being Detroit, being the Chargers, being the Bengals, losing to Baltimore in week 13, first meeting. Being Minnesota, barely being the Titans. Losing to the Chiefs, obviously. I have them being the Browns, and then I have them being the Ravens at the end of the season. And that answers the Bengals. Ooh, let's recap. I have them losing to the Vikings, losing to the Bears, losing to the Steelers, being the Jaguars, losing to Green Bay, being the Lions, losing to Baltimore, being the Jets, losing to Cleveland, losing to the Raiders, losing to Pittsburgh, losing to the Chargers, losing to the 49ers, barely being the Broncos. Losing to Baltimore, losing to AC, and losing to Cleveland in <coughs> the final week of the season. And so, yeah, at the end of this whole thing, how to stand and sit in the AFC North Browns 14 and 3, Baltimore 12 and 5, Pittsburgh 11 and 6, and four, Cincinnati. And so, they have four wins and 13 losses. <coughs> That's my AFC North prediction. Not saying that's exactly what's going to happen. But I think there's a good chance that's what happens. So, yeah, guys. That's my AFC North prediction. Uh, possibly going to be coming out with a gaming video um, tomorrow. But we will see. Tomorrow, well. I'll be uploading this video tomorrow. And I'll be uploading possibly a game video the next day 
but I'll show you real quick. If that's how the division will work out, Cleveland would face Baltimore in the wild card. Pittsburgh would face Kansas City in the wild card. That's interesting. That's interesting. Pittsburgh would sometimes still make playoffs and have new wins and six losses. But, uh, <coughs> yeah. God, my throat's sore from talking that fast. <coughs> there we go. Um, but I think we, uh, I think that's pretty accurate. We'll see the, uh, we'll see how the season turns out. And, uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll check you all later. This is MD Game signing out. Peace, guys.